morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone here and Team FN Network and around the globe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're down into the Team Effort Lifestyle Call where you will hear things that will move you from fact to faith to action. It is Monday morning and we are ready to get up and going once we get another successful weekend, head into another great we, I know that you did some great things over the weekend. I know that you shared the 10 vitamin sprays as well as the trim by 10 that is making a tremendous difference in people's health around the globe. So we're excited to hear from you. I want to, I want to let you know, family, if you have a story that's never been told, a testimony that's never been heard, and it's yours, please give us a call. We would like to have you on the call so we can share with everyone what the 10 vitamin sprays and the Trim by 10 are doing for you. Well, this is your host, Pastor Denise McDowell, along with my business partner, two star, Pastor Del Wafer. The line is open. Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday, Robert. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, Robert? Oh, it was great. It was a great weekend. It was a great weekend. Made some nice right. contacts and whatnot. So it looked like I might have some people coming to the meeting this week. That's right. That's right. Uh -oh. Get started inviting them over the weekend. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Good to hear you, Robert. Thank you for dialing in, That's... sir. All right. Well, yes, Andy Bell. Bell Maryland. Hey, Sandy. How's it going, Superstar? All is well. All is well. All right. All right. All right. Welcome, welcome to the call. Thank you. Rita Jackson. Rita Jackson. Hey, how you doing, Pastor? Uh -huh. Dancing machine. I'm doing great. <laughs> great, great, great to hear your voice today. Always good to hear you, Frida. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Always. you. Denise Moore, Ohio. Woohoo! My goodness, how are you, Denise Moore? Amazing. <laughs> you sound amazing this morning, girl. You up in Adam, aren't you? Thank God it's Monday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? We can't wait for Mondays. It used to be Fridays. Now, now we can't wait for Mondays. <laughs> 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 and that's Mr. Jesse Dowden calling in from the Pentagon. Hey, Jesse. How you doing, Pastor Denise? It's outstanding. <laughs> I'm standing outside the Pentagon. I got my vitamin D, my super 10, my cell energy, and my B boost. And so I'm good to go. Oh, you just out there being the poster child, right? Yes. Don't have to be really great. That's right, Jesse. That's right. It's Monday morning, Monday morning, Monday morning. We waiting for double O eight. Coach and the <laughs> Big things are happening and big things are forthcoming. Good morning, guys. That's right. That's Paul Jackson. How are you, yes, sir? It is. Doing great. Magnificent day. Magnificent day. And, and great day indeed. Yes. Hey, Paul, I, you know, you and Jesse and Beverly and uh, you all are planning to um, take a trip to, is it North Carolina? Oh, yeah, we're going down to Tobacco Road and explode and open up a new area down there in North now Carolina. Now what? Fayetteville. North, Fayetteville, North, North Carolina. You said Fayetteville, North Carolina? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Our executive all right, partner, family. Uh, Mr. Jesse Bowden is collaborating with Beverly oh. and Cassandra, and we're opening up a, a new, new Who's area. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's Fairville, North Carolina. The team is in Fairville, North Carolina. What day is that for? The 19th and the 20th. The 19th and the 20th this month. So if you got to Fairville, North Carolina, get them out there. Oh, yeah. These things are happening. Oh, information is on the calendar, Pastor Denise. Information is on the calendar. Thank you, Jesse. There you go. Go to teamfnetwork.biz. Check the calendar every day to get the location. Don't miss up with the CCC in your area. Take advantage of it. The 19th and 20th of this month. Yep. 
The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. Happening consistently with Team at the Network, and you want to be up to date with everything that's going on. You can have a wonderful TTP of great leaders right in your neighborhood and not be aware of that if you're not checking the calendar of events. Uh, Paul Jackson, Jesse Bowden, Beverly Johnson, Cassandra, and uh, a few other great leaders are going to Fairville, North Carolina, the 19th and 20th of this month. So if you have guests and representatives or prospects in that area, you want to be at that event. And it's on the calendar, calendar of events. So check the calendar of events to find out the day, I mean, the exact time and location so you can have your guests and your prospects there. Well, it's Monday morning, as Denise Moore said. Thank God it's Monday morning. And we are excited about Monday morning um, because this is where our week gets started. Uh, excited coming from a powerful weekend, sharing with everyone around the globe what's happening with the 10 vitamin sprays. We continue to get great reports about the D-Power. Our D-Power just continues to be one of the best sprays that we have. Of course, the D-Boost is running neck and neck with it because it's giving us the energy that we need, the clarity of our mind, people's vision. Visions are improving because of the D-Boost. We keep getting reports about people's vision getting better and better from taking the D-Boost. And, of course, the natural energy that the deep boost gives you from my 10, along with the trim by 10, that, that, you know, that, uh, what, what, what is that? Rope or dope? I call it the rope or dope. That true touch knockout. Well, you got that trim by 10 and the slim by 10. You are in business. Healthy weight management. You can do whatever you want as far as your weight goes. You can manage your weight. Who ever heard of such? Get your weight to where you want it. And then with the trim by 10, just manage it. Just keep it there. That is just amazing. Who else has that? No one but Team Effort Network. And then, of course, the Super 10. And there's a lot of pollen and pollution in the air right now. We're outside doing a lot of things outside because of the summer. The weather's great, but we're exposed to a lot of free radicals. We're exposed to a lot of pollution. There's a lot of grunt and dirt in the air. Uh, we're bringing it all in. It's getting in our body. But guess what? The Super 10 is cleaning it out. Thank God for Super 10. Not only is it cleaning it out, but it's giving us really good REM sleep at night so the body can shut down and reboot itself and get ready for another powerful day. Then, of course, we can't think about the cell energy that goes through the body and just kicks out every little thing in those cells that does not belong there. It's also giving us energy at the cellular level. So, family, these are the wonderful things that, we're, that we have our hands on. It's what we're sharing. It's what everyone is in need of. They're looking for what we have. I continue to share the phrase that I'm... Um, I can't taste the price of shock, but there's so many people that deal with diabetes, and everyone that I get the vitamin sprays, sprays with, if they're dealing with diabetes, their symptoms, are, you know, just all of a sudden in control. The things that they were dealing with, they're no longer dealing with anymore. I have to be on the vitamin sprays for one to two weeks, and that's a good thing to know. So keep sharing what we're doing here. I'm going to pause here and bring on my business partner, Sister Pastor Del Wafer. Pastor Del, are you there, sir? Yes, I am. I'm here. <laughs> good morning. How are you? Well, good morning. Good morning. Welcome back, partner. Uh, great, yeah, great morning. As uh, as you said, Denise talks about. Thank God it's Monday. This is an opportunity for you to set your goals for this week, and at uh, the top of the week to start hammering out your goals, talking to as many people as you possibly can. And uh, when you talk about our product. You know, uh, that trim is another component, as you said, uh, that helps with diabetes and things of that nature to control blood, blood sugar levels. So, you know, we got so many tools, uh, you know, that we have that can help with people to in, increase their health and become better, uh, manage their health better. And, uh, these products are on the market. They're, they're, they're with our distributors and they're getting them out to, to the, to the world. We're becoming a brand. In every region, uh, I'm glad to hear Paul and them going out to Fayetteville, North Carolina, you know, opening up a new market where people can now find out about our brand, find out about our product, become a part of this organization. So, you know, every time we have an opportunity to share and to open up new markets, it's just going to be better for the brand. That's right. That's right. And, Pastor, you should see my car. My car looks like the UPS man. I have so many boxes of, of trim and vitamin sprays that I have to take to the post office today to mail out. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. That's a good thing. <laughs> I 
That's a good thing. Well, I, that's a good that's a good problem to have. <laughs> that's a very good problem to have. I was a paid example of a whole bunch of uh, boxes to take to the post office to ship them off to folks that are uh, placing orders for the vitamin sprays and the trim by ten. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, it's Monday and we are all waiting for our call. What's she going to bring us today? What does she have to say? Is she going to kick us in the butt? Is she going to get us on personal development? Is she going to get us on marketing? What does she have for us today? Well, let's find out. Coach Patricia Bond, are you there? Woo-hoo! I'm here, Pastor Denise. I'm here. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you? It's starting to warm up over here, Pastor <laughs> Denise. We are I'm starting to approach it. summertime. You know, the one thing that I really love about this business is that we're about to approach summertime and we have a great opportunity to reach those people who are trying to get into their bikini bodies. And we have our trim by 10, our slim by 10, our, like you said, our rope a dope one two punch. We have to be okay. sharing with the world. So we're going to be talking about marketing today. Woo, I love it. I love it. I love marketing. I mean, without marketing, my goodness, uh, we need that. So I'm ready, Nakisha. I'm glad you picked that topic because I'm ready for that one. Let's go. Absolutely. You know, one of the things that I think sometimes we forget about in this business is that this is truly a business, and every business you know has a marketing budget. I'm not going to be talking about marketing budgets today, but we're going to be talking about two types of people that we're going to be marketing to and how we're going to be approaching both of those people. So we have our warm market and our cold market. And if you're new to network marketing and you've never heard these terms before, all that means is an easy way to say warm market is if you can look in your phone then you will see that person's number. Or if you pass this person on the street, they would recognize you. That's considered your warm market. Your hot market is like your family, your close friends, you know, people that you talk to very frequently. Your warm market is just people that you know. And so a lot of times when you get into the network marketing business, you know, a lot of people have already been in network marketing before, and they've already approached their family and friends in their warm market. And so they get into a new opportunity, and sometimes they want to shy away from that. One thing I have to say is that your warm market is going to be one of the greatest resources to your business. But dealing with family and friends can be a blessing and a curse because, of course, you know, family and friends are very open to tell you what's on their mind. So let's talk about a couple of things that we have to think about when we're talking to our warm market. So, again, your warm market is going to be anybody that you know that would probably recognize you on the street. And I would say this. If you're saying, well, I've been in here in business before and I've already talked to my warm market, I would say go through your phone and scroll through your phone. And if you can say, yes, I've gotten either a yes a no or a referral from any of those people, then you know you've reached out to your warm market. If you look through your warm market and you're looking through that list and you say, well, I don't want to call that person because that's how you know you haven't gone through your warm market. So you should be able to look at everybody on your phone. You should be looking at the people on Facebook, at least the people that you really know, not the people that maybe you've accepted over time, but someone that you really actually know and say, have I reached out to that person? And this is the best opportunity, guys. And the reason why I thought this was really important is because we have this new product out. You know, if you've told somebody about the sprays before, I can guarantee you probably haven't told them about the trim. So this is a great time to just go back through and look at your contacts and say, have I told everybody now that I know about this new product that we have, about this new health drink that's out there on the market. Because remember, Trim is not just a weight loss drink. So you're not just marketing to the weight loss. You're walking to anyone who wants to have good health. And I think that's probably 100% of the population. So that means that if you have gone through that list and you see, oh, that person doesn't know about Trim, that person doesn't know about Trim, you still have to reach out into your warm market. So here are some things to think about. You know, you never want to insult anyone for not participating in your business. I know that kind of seems like a no-brainer, but one of the things when I first got into this business, I'll go ahead and share this story, was that it really confounded me that people didn't just want to sign up into my network marketing business. I'm like, listen, this makes total sense. We do this every single day. We are always buying products, and I'm always recommending products to my friends and family. So why don't we get paid? That just seems like a so easy. Why doesn't everybody want to join this opportunity? I never really insulted anyone, but I kind of gave them that look like, are you kidding me? Like, maybe you didn't hear what I said. I mean, I'm saying use these products and they're going to pay you when you tell people about it. You don't get that. So you never want to insult people because remember, one thing that's really, really important is timing. And this is number two. A no rarely means no, because let's say you talk to your cousin and they say, no, you know, I'm not really interested in that business right now. And then three weeks later, they lose their job. That whole thing could change. Their whole perspective on life can change. 
somebody gets an illness, all of a sudden they're looking for alternative medicine. Someone goes through and someone else in their family dies, maybe not related to them, and it just starts to let them think about life. Someone at their job gets fired or gets let go. You know, there's all sorts of things that can happen in people's lives. So you may talk to someone today, or you may have talked to somebody six months ago in your business, and they said no. Check in with that person again, because you never know how things might have changed for them. This is really, really important. This is why you always want to conduct yourself very professional, because like I said, we did the follow-up study. 80% of people who say no to you within two years are going to buy from you. So have you reached out to the people that said no to you a while back and told them about the trend product? These are all things that we need to think about, you guys, because timing is of the essence. And you never know where it's going to be a right time for someone. But one thing I do know is that you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, and you can't say the right thing to the wrong person. So we should all, that's what should that means. That means that we got to talk to everybody, first of all. And number two, that means that you have to go out there and look for the people who this is the right opportunity for them at the right time. Deal with it. Objections, past failures, bad experiences. This is all part of the business. You know, I always like to say this because I think it just makes sense to me is that there's tons of businesses that you walk by every single day, but they don't get upset because people don't come in and buy their products. It's just part of business. And this is why three-way calls are so important. Let your sponsor answer the objections and the questions. You don't have to be bothered with that. That's why the system works so well, because we've set it up so that you don't have to answer all the objections that somebody might have or answer all the questions. In fact, you shouldn't. You know why? Because that's not duplicatable. If you can answer all the questions or if I can answer all the questions, that someone has, the first thing that they're going to be thinking is, oh my goodness, that means I got to know all of those answers. But if I bring in my upline, if I bring in my sponsor and I say, here's someone who can help answer all your questions, what they're thinking is, is okay, so that means that when somebody calls me and they have questions, I can just call you and you'll answer them for you. You say, sure, I'll take care of that for you. It just takes so much pressure off the business. So when you're dealing with your warm market, and here's another thing to think about when you're dealing with your warm market is a lot of it too has to do with your reputation. Now, maybe you don't have that great of a reputation around the people that you know. Maybe you've been in tons of network marketing opportunities. Maybe you've always tried to get them into the latest and the greatest, and they're just tired, and they probably told you, don't you ever contact me again for any other opportunity. This is different. Ten is different. Mel and Amy really wanted to make it safe for people to come back in network marketing. So you shouldn't be afraid to go out there and reach out to these people. But if you are afraid, this is where you definitely need to call in your sponsor. And if you're saying, well, my sponsor isn't here around anymore. I don't know who my upline is or I don't have any support. You know, go into the Facebook pages. We have the Tenacious Generation. You have 10 Prosperity Team. Make a post on there. You know, people are always contacting people on their sidelines, their downlines, their uplines. Anyone you need to do to help you run your business, that's who you need to reach out to and get it. Don't let that be an excuse for you not to do three-way calls or not to reach out to people. If you guys need a sponsor, please make sure that you get out there and you just post, and I'm sure somebody will take you under their wing and take good care of you. I'll be happy to do that if you guys reach out to me. Yes is a no's. So this is really, really important because, again, you know, this was me and my arrogance. I really thought that I didn't think anybody was going to say no. I said it just makes so much sense to me, this whole structure of how we're going to run our business. But you know what? There's some people that you're going to talk to, and you're going to have to talk to them nine times, ten times. Some people you're going to tell them first time, and they'll sign up, and I've seen both happen. I was one of those people. It took her nine times. And I didn't even really think about it until later, so I started doing these trainings that I actually said no to her nine times. And it had nothing to do with her. I just didn't really want to be bothered with another opportunity. And that's one of the things that we have to think about, too, when we're talking to people. We are bombarded with so much information all the time that sometimes people's natural reaction is just to say no. And they say no to stop the influx of information because it's just too much. If we absorbed every single thing that came at us, we would never be able to get anything done. I think they did a study and said if you read every privacy agreement that you signed up with on the web, it would take you almost your whole entire life to read all those privacy agreements. So a lot of times we just say no to things just to stop the influx of information. And so really what you want to do is find out why are they saying no? You know, because these are people that you know, right? You're getting their opinion. You're asking them for their help. You know, we've talked about different strategies on how to reach out to your uh, more market. But why are they saying no? Are they saying no because they don't want to diversify their income? Are they saying no because they don't know anyone who wants to lose weight? Are they saying no because 
you know, they've already been in network marketing and it failed before, try and figure out a little bit why they're saying no. It will help you to understand a little bit about your business and learn a little bit about your marketing and how you're going to approach other people. So even though family and friends can be very honest with you to the point that it hurts your feelings, because I can tell you, if you're wondering if you're fat, go around your family, your family will be happy to tell you. So your family can be very, very honest for you, <laughs> you know, but you can also use that as good feedback on how to retool your approach your marketing material, what is it exactly that you needed or what kind of information maybe I should have given you that I didn't give you. It's a great opportunity to get that feedback. But, you know, I think it's really, really important that you don't bug your family and friends about it. You ask them if they're open to it, if it's the right time, you give them more information. If not, ask them for a referral and keep it pushing. You know, Mel said, we don't have time to beg people to get into our business. So this isn't about going back and begging your warm market. If you've already approached them, this is about letting them know that we have an amazing new product out. Would they like to have a free sample? This is about, hey, we, you know, we just got new enhancements to the compensation plan. Do you want to learn more about that? You know, these are the kind of questions that you're going to ask them, but we're not begging anybody into our business because we don't have to have anybody in our business right now. This is a time where we just have to keep getting the right people into our business. It's not time to get just anybody. It's time to get the right people who are in it, who see the $50 million vision and are ready to go for the long haul. So those are some things that you want to think about when you're approaching your warm market. You know, some of the strategies that you can use is really just, hey, look at this new lifestyle video that we have and let me know what you think. You know, when you're doing your warm market, a lot of times it's just to do the indirect approach where you're not directly asking them if they want to join your opportunity, but you're more asking their opinion, asking them what they think, ask, do you want to try a sample? You want to do things that are not just directly asking them because a lot of times your family and friends, they love to say no to you and be really mean. I'm just saying that because it's true and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but if it happens, to you. I want you to know that it is just part of the business, so you don't want to take it too personal. And it's part of the being professional. So now let's say that you've got, you looked through your phone and you said, yep, I told every single person that I know about this trend. I've told every single person on my Facebook page, everybody, I've reached out to them and they said yes. And they said yes, they understand. They've given me a yes, no, or they've joined my business or given me a referral. So you're done with your warm market. You're never really done with your warm market because here's the thing. Success gets all sorts of followers. As you start to grow in your business, those people who said no to you, they're going to come back on board because success will attract success and people love to be around successful people. So don't worry about them. You'll come back and get them on the backswing. Um, here's another good thing that I I want to just throw in there. Um, when you're getting referrals, this is really, really important. I think we don't ask for referrals enough. Um, this is a great way to pull people into the business. So let's say that you talk to your cousin and, and you ask your cousin if they're interested in the business. They say no. You ask them for a referral. They tell you about their friend, Dan. You call Dan, Dan, hey, you know, my cousin so-and-so said that you'd be interested in making money, losing weight, getting healthy, whatever Dan might be interested in. And Dan says, ah, oh, you know, I'm not really into that, but I know Sheila's trying to lose weight, so, you know, maybe call her. So you go over there and you call, she, hey, Sheila, you know, my friend Dan, who's friends with my cousin, you know, said that you were interested and I have these great products. And Sheila says, yeah, absolutely. Oh, these products are great. Oh, let me try them. Oh, yeah, I'd love to join the business. Now what do you do? You call back Dan. Hey, Dan. She was in. Is she going to be making money for me or is she making money for you? What is Dan going to do? Dan is going to sign up. The fear of loss. Dan is afraid now because you have already signed up one person for him. So now Dan signs up. So now what do you do? You call your cousin back. Hey, cuz, I got Dan and Sheila on board. Are you coming on board? Are they going to make money for me or are they making money for you? This is a great way to recruit people right into the business by doing this whole referral chain because you go right back down the chain. The longer the chain, the more people joining your business and you just let them know they can make money for you. They can make money for me. And most people don't want them to make money for you. So they're going to offer them to make money for them. So that's just another thing when you're asking for referrals, why referrals are important. Because sometimes I didn't realize that, but you know, one referral can lead to another referral. They can lead to another referral if you're diligent about your business. Okay, so let's talk about some marketing ideas for your 10 business. I know I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to kind of go over there. Um, over them very loosely. You know, your local chamber of commerce, this is a great place to be, a great place to network. Remember, we have a product to sell, and everybody at the chamber has a product to sell, too. This is, I would, this is Nikisha Vaughn's personal opinion. It might not be the time to recruit people into your opportunity, but it's definitely a good time to get people on the product. And a lot of times when you go into these chamber of commerce meetings, you're meeting people who might know people who might know people. People love to do business with people that they know. 
People love to do business with people that they know. And if they're not doing business with you, it's probably because they just don't know you. When you get out into these chamber meetings, now when they're starting to think of, oh, you know, vitamins, sprays, when they go and they meet other people and they say, oh, you know, I've been feeling like this. Oh, you know, I met somebody at a chamber meeting who was selling some vitamin sprays. Let me find their card for you. That's a great opportunity to just network and get your name out there. It's a great way to promote your website. It's a great way to draw business. It's a great way to get really good contacts. So when you're going out there, chamber of commerce meeting, first of all, you're meeting people who are already in business so that once they've tried the product, they're going to be so easy to recruit into the business because they are absolutely going to get it. They're going to understand what it means to make a referral and to share products and make money on the back end because they're business owners. So I absolutely encourage everyone to join their their local chamber of commerce and really just start getting your name out there. Social networking. You know, I can tell you so many people are making so much money off of social network right now. It's unbelievable. One of the things is that social network is like blogging. So if you, I hate the word blogging. It's so stupid. But all blogging is is just writing an article on the Internet. And social media is a great way to do that, to write an article about your products, about your opportunity, about things like that. People are making lots and lots of money because this, com- this information is highly shareable because you're giving people information that they probably don't know about. You know, when you start telling people about intraoral sprays, most people have never heard about it, and they're really surprised that it's been around for so long and that nobody's really tapped into that. And so they are so tired of trying all of these pills and shakes and powders that don't work. Now you're giving them something that absolutely does work, and the high absorption, it just changes the way your body reacts to these vitamins. And so it's a great way, social networking, to get your brand out there, to really start to promote your website, to promote who you are. You know, a lot of times we have to remember Remember, this is a marketing business, so who are you? What is your angle? What are you out there promoting? Is it, you know, about health and healthy lifestyle? I love looking at um, LA's post on, online, you know, just went to the gym, got my trim, you know, doing all that. You know, people love to see those kind of lifestyle posts, and that's a perfect way to do that, to promote your brand, to promote your products on social media, and it's free. Now, there are, you can use a lot of the tools and be very savvy about it and target market. And, you know, if you're comfortable with it, that's definitely a great way to increase your brand because you can get very specific on the people that you want to target your marketing campaign to. But I would say if you're very new to network marketing and, you know, you're only as good as signing into your Facebook account, just stick with posting on your wall, exchanging messages with friends, trying to give out your samples. Don't get too savvy with it. Just do what you know, but just do something. Don't be afraid of the Internet. It's kind of scary, but don't be afraid. And here's the thing. If you have any person who is under the age of or over the age of like 12, 11, 12, they can do posts for you. And I would say recruit them. They'll be more than happy. And they probably have like 5,000 followers anyway that they can probably reach out to and you can get your post shared. So don't be afraid of the Internet. Just reach out to people and they'll help you. I just have that out there. Okay, so newsletters. This is a great thing. You're collecting all these business cards. What are you doing with them? What are you doing with all these business cards? Are you reaching out to these people and giving them information on a regular basis? You know, constant contact or um, one, two, three contact. There's all sorts of different uh, websites out there where you can do email marketing. Email marketing, I think they said it's like 40 cents to get a lead in email marketing. And all it is is just exposure, exposure. You're getting all these business cards. Put them into a funnel. Start giving people information, directing, drive your traffic. What do you want people to do? You're giving them your business part card. They give you the business card, so they're opting into something. <coughs> Excuse me. If you start sending out a newsletter, now you're giving them more information about the sprays, about activities that you have coming up, about new testimonials, about all the people who are having tremendous results on these products. It's just a great way to get your brand out there and to get people to recognize you and get them with that familiarity. Remember how we said with the yeses and the noes. Some people you're going to tell them once, they're going to order your product. Some people you're going to tell them 10, 15, 20 times, and then they're going to order your product. Either way, you're going to get the sale. You just have to make sure that you're just putting your name out there. Videos. This is so huge, you guys. I do not see enough videos. We got to step it up on the videos, you guys. You got to show people spraying. You got to, you know, I know that Vicky Soto, I don't know if she's on the line. She did a post one time. I thought it was so great. She's at the gym. She's spraying her cell energy and she's just moving like the Energizer buddy. But that's what people love to see. We've got to do more lifestyle videos. You really have to get out there and really show off the product. You know, show your before and after results. Show things that you couldn't do before that you can't do now. And video is a great way to market yourself. And it's free. 
and you can drive people back to your website or your Facebook page or the 10 um, team effort network dot biz uh, website. Whatever you got to do, videos, we got to do more of those. Along with videos, we have podcasting. So podcasting, I know Kevin Vaughn is really good on this, so you might want to reach out to him. He does a podcast. Maybe he'll come on, Pastor Denise, and let us know how often his podcast is. But I see him promoting it on Facebook all the time. And basically, if you let's say that you don't want to do video and you're more of a verbal person and you just want to kind of say your message without having to look into a camera, podcasts are great. And they're easy to share because all you have to do is have a link. You can post it on your Facebook page. You can also have people join and ask questions. You can interview guests. There's so many things that you can do with podcasts. So you have video and you have radio. So just another great way so that you can start advertising. Um, you know, always being a product of the product. That's a great representation of your brand. You know, people out there, they love to see success stories. And if you're a 10 success story, you got to go out there and promote it. you got to show your pictures on there. Do your befores, your afters. Always have your samples. If somebody, if you're telling somebody about your product, it's great to have that deep power because it tastes so good and it's surprising to people how good it tastes that you want to go ahead and spray them down or give them the B boost so they can have a little bit more energy. You know, if you're going to be a product of the product, you might as will have your product on you at all times. And now we have the amazing trim that you can just carry in your purse, hand out to someone, staple a business card on it, and get their information and say, hey, try it this evening. I'm going to give you a call tomorrow and see how you liked it. That's a great way to market your business and to really get your brand out there and get people sharing the product and using the product and trying the product. You know, we already talked about referrals. Let's see. Um, I know I'm running out of time. Fundraisers. This is really, really huge. You know, you can do fundraisers where you can charge a little bit more than you normally charge for the sprays and give some of that money back to the school or the whatever you else that you're going to be promoting. And now you're getting business and you're getting people to try the sprays. Let me tell you something. These sprays are so easy to retail. And that's why I keep saying the whole retail route because people just want to see testimonies that it worked. That's why the videos are so important. That's why Robert is always asking us for more videos, more videos, because that makes it so easy to share this business and to build sales. And so you want to make sure fundraisers are a great way to get out, get your brand out there, get it into people's hands who might not normally try it, but might try it now because they know they're going to be supporting a good cause. Especially when we get into, I think, October, which is Cancer, Cancer Awareness Month. can't tell you how many people have already approached me about getting the vitamin D for their Cancer Awareness Month because you'll, I was talking to a guy at church, um, not this week, but last week, and he was telling me that he had cancer. Somebody had put him on the um, vitamin D pills. He said, I stopped talking, taking them. It didn't work. I'm like, oh, I've got a spray. It's going to work perfectly for you. Here you go. He's like, oh, yeah, my doctor never told me I had any other options. So, you know, get ready for cancer awareness. Get your D spray out there. These are just other ways that you can start marketing your business. Shows. This is huge, you guys. There's so many fairs out there, so many different shows that you can get in touch with. And a lot of them, you know, you can get in with like a, a free raffle gift of less than $100. Sometimes you can get in there for free or, you know, it's not very, very much money. And really what you're doing is you might not sell as many sprays as you want at the actual event, but what you can do is collect a lot of business cards. And a great way to do that is a fishbowl drawing. Say, hey, you can have a four-pack of sprays, just leave your card, and we're going to do a drawing at the end of the day, and we'll call you if you win. Boom. Now you're getting all these people who are entering the drawing, but what are you really getting? Lots of contacts that you can follow up with. And all the people who didn't win, they're going to get a nice courtesy call from you, right? And say, hey, I know you didn't win, but maybe you can give them a little discount on their sprays if they want to go ahead and order. Or you can just put them on the mailing list and start sending out newsletters. So again, all this is, is about going out there, meeting people, putting them into a funnel, exposure, exposure, exposure. That's the difference between the cold and the warm market before we wrap up here. Warm market, people already know you. So they've already been exposed to you a little bit. They know about you. They know they, you know, they trust you for the most part. When you get into the cold market, they don't know you. And so now you're going to have to build that trust. You're going to have to build that brand awareness. And that happens by exposure, exposure, exposure. That's why I say a lot of times in the cold market, it's easier to retail to recruit, meaning you sell them the product, they like the product, and now they want to join the business because it makes sense to have a money-making opportunity along with it. So I know I ran out of time. So I hope that this has blessed somebody. I had a few other things that if you guys want, I'll post them on Facebook so you guys can just look at some other things, free samples, you know, contests are really, really good. Do joint ventures. You know, maybe you can hook up with a fitness center. You know, we went and had 
um, there was a gym, uh, you know, privately owned gym right around the corner and they let us set up a booth. So everybody who came in the door got to see and try the sprays and we did a fishbowl drawing. We got lots of different people. We didn't sell as many sprays as we liked, but we had a lot of people that we were able to follow up with who bought sprays later. And so again, don't worry if you're not selling products right at the event. That doesn't mean it's a lost event. It's really just about getting those contacts and then now exposing them, exposing them to the products and the opportunity. Okay, Pastor Denise, I could go on forever, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it back to you. <laughs> Great information, Coach Vakita Bond. Thank you for that. Uh, information is always needed to be heard and how to approach your market, whether the wall market or the call market. You know, and the case is always good to know uh, what approach to take for each customer because each customer is different. You know, we have some that are really looking uh, to get healthy. They want the product. But then we have some that are really looking to make extra income. So I know there's a different way that you want to approach each one of those customers. And uh, I think maybe one day we'll emphasize on the best way to approach each one of those different customers. Um, when getting oh, um. them Mm -hmm. Oh, you're absolutely right, Pastor Denise. I was just going to say, you're absolutely right. You know, the most important thing that you can do is really listen to people, and they will tell you what side they're interested in. You know, when you give them kind of like, this is what I'm doing, then they'll say, oh, you know, and you'll see if they're leaning more towards the product side because they're talking about their health and how they feel and how they're tired and they don't have any energy, they want to lose weight, you know, they've been feeling sick or they just got out of the hospital. Those are product people. When you get people who are saying, I'm broke, you know, I can't pay for this, I can't pay for that, I want to do more for my family, I'm just, you know, I'm at a dead-end job, those are people that you want to approach about the opportunity. But if you listen to people, they'll be more than happy to tell you all about their problems. Back to you, Pastor Denise. That's true. And I'm telling you, you got to listen, listen carefully because uh, depending on what they really, really are in need of, they're really ready to take action now. <clears throat> so if you kind of put, sometimes you can really get a person into business with you right then and there. You don't have to wait until they get to the TCP. You don't even have to wait until they get to the meeting. They're ready to take action now. You have to hear what they're saying. If they're really sick and they're going through some health issues and they want to do something about it now, then they want the sprays now. If they're broke, busted, and disgusted, they want to get their business and finances now. They want to take action now. <clears throat> so you have to, um, you know, be ready to, to, to say, okay, this is what you need to do. Let's get you signed up, and we'll get you, we'll get you to a meeting next week, and we'll get you updated on everything that you need to do to get your business up and going. Don't be afraid to do that. Well, people are really ready to change. And there's some people, aren't they, Nikisha? They are ready to take action now. And look at, I think it was the Denise Moore who said that no one, or was that you? And no one, no, that was Dr. Rosie. That no one even told her about the business. She overheard someone talking about it to someone else. She looked it up and she signed herself up. So, so, so some people are really looking to take action now. Absolutely, Pastor Denise. I don't think it was me, but I've heard that kind of um, sentiment heard over and over and over again. And that's because we're in a real dire state right now. There are people who are really, really hurting financially. Wages are stagnant. You know, people really hurting from their health because really it's more about sick care. You go to the doctors, they give you a pill. You go to the doctors, they give you a pill. You go to the doctors, they give you a pill. Never really tell you what's wrong. And people are looking to get healthy from the inside out not only in their bodies, but also in their finances. So you will find people. I know that um, there was one lady I went and I did like a little flip chart, Pastor Denise. She signed up that evening. First time she heard about it, first time she heard the presentation, she's like, I got it. It makes sense. I love the sprays. I love the concept. I'm in. Sign me up. She didn't even need anything. We were going to have a TTP. I had talked to her before the TTP, and she was already signed up. So that's how quickly it's happening when we're out there because when someone's ready, they're ready, yeah. and you're going to jump on board. But, again, when they're not ready, you can't force them, and you don't want right. to, so you just want to go ahead and drip back with them later. Right, that's right. And I love the idea, uh, Nikisha, about the videos. You know, when you said that, you know, Vicky was in the gym working out, she stopped and took her spray. That is what people want to see, and I saw a visual of that as you were saying that. Uh, you know, just take the sprays and let people see you taking it on video, maybe compared to what you used to take. Maybe you maybe say, I used to take this, but now I take this. You know, and seeing it on video uh, just gives people, hey, I want to try that. I want to spray that in my mouth to kind of give them the, the, the next step, what they want to do with the spray. So I love that about the videos. And, yes, Robert, speaking from headquarters, is constantly asking us to send them videos, send them videos, because he's putting a good, he's putting marketing tools together for us to use nationwide uh, to really build our business. So, Coach Nikisha Vaughn, thank you for that. And then we have to have Kevin 
uh, not Kevin, yeah, uh, Dr. Kevin Vaughn to share about the podcast that you mentioned also. So I know he'll be with us um, tomorrow, but we can have share that tomorrow. Um, Dr. Uh, Pastor Daly, do you have any comments for Nikisha before we let it go? Well, you know, this is this is some this is some great great coaching today, and uh, I'm I'm going to advise you guys to make sure that your team gets this information. They 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 capture and, and capture this information from our post uh, on the recording and look at this because it is really really some good information that Coach Nikisha Bond has put out there. When you talk about your warm market, going back to your warm market uh, and uh, identifying the people that. Uh, that may need to may need to know about our new product. You know, uh, you know, once we come out with a new product, everybody that you talk to, listen uh, about the sprays. You can talk to them again about this new product. So your warm market just keeps getting warm as we get as we come out with new products. And uh, and it reminded me of uh, something that uh, one of our our partners in the business did, uh, named uh, uh, Sabrina Field. One of the things she did was. She went through her whole downline and went through all of the people that's below PSV, and she wow. created this nice. She created this nice letter, you know, uh, just touching yeah. bases with them, reaching out to them, and went back and just sent this letter back out to them, and talking to them about their status of being below PSV. And down below PSV simply means that they hadn't paid the ownership, and just reminded them the benefits of buying a product, even if it's just. One product for fifty nine dollars, or or you know, our share package, the benefits of becoming that active, and then she talked to them about the new product line. They may not have heard about that, you know. So I, I thought that was I thought that was really really smart uh, to go back and reach your people uh, again. That's the market that has already been uh, associated with ten, but for whatever reasons uh, they're not active. But you know what? We got a new product, and a lot of these people that are not active, uh, you know, may want to lose weight or know that weight loss is a big deal, and no people do want to lose weight, and they want to try the new product. So, you know, you can't just never, you can't go to your warm market and say, okay, I've done, done, done the warm market, throw it away, because you never know, as Nikisha said, 30 days, 90 days, people's situations change, and you have to go back to them. There's so many times I've gone to people, and they said, not interested. Uh, no, I don't even want to buy the product, and today they're in the business. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. so you just know, you know, every day somebody's situation can change, and they be they'll be more open than they were before. Great job, Nikisha. Okay. Wow, that is great. You know, Pastor, I think that's a great thing that uh, Sabrina did. <clears throat> that we might have to have her on a call just so she can share that um, information because. I think also some of the ones that are below PSV, maybe they maybe they feel like, you know, they can't come back. You know, maybe they feel like they have to make that one-time investment all over again, and then maybe they don't realize they don't have to. So it may be, uh, you know, good to you should bring that out to the ones that are in that position and to have to bring a call and share that and what she wrote in the letter and what responses she's getting. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I agree. Well, I agree. Yeah, good idea. Good going, Sabrina, if you're listening. Great going. Well, let's go out to the U.K. with Dr. Nina Poole with our coach for today. Dr. Poole, are you there? I am here. Can you hear me, please? Yes, Dr. Poole, how are you today? Yes, I am great. The sun is shining beautifully. It's lovely and fresh. Birds in the air. It's definitely summer, and I hope the toxins out there are reducing. Because I heard you mention at the beginning of the call, Denise. Yeah, it's the time of year. You know, air pollution is pretty high, and obviously yeah. people with allergies, people who are allergic to pollen, and you know, regardless of all of this, pollution from car vehicles. You know, I've mentioned it before, but there are increasing articles, both scientifically and just publicly. In fact, a recent quote from a, a Sunday uh, paper here, uh, literally just this weekend, air pollution is now the world's single largest environmental risk. That's how wow. huge it is. And many wow. countries have exceeded limits on nitrogen dioxide and particulates. And the reason is because they've been um, going towards diesel, thinking that there was less CO2 
uh, and therefore uh, it was more climate friendly. But they found in hindsight that, that although there were less carbon emissions, there are increasing particulate emissions and increasing nitrogen dioxide. And those two things, nitrogen dioxide and particulates, are very, very, very bad for the body, basically. So, um, you know, in fact, the article goes on to say, put simply, we know that air pollution shortens life expectancy, reduces lung function, worsens the symptoms of asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and heart disease. It even goes on to say that it's associated with adverse birth outcomes, premature birth, for example, children's respiratory health problems, uh, it actually reduces lung function and lung growth. Um, in fact, any child below the age of, you know, upper teenage level, their lungs are still developing up until, you know, elderly teenage level. So air pollution is putting their lung development at risk. Every single person you know, every child and every teenager. And that is huge because once you've got reduced lung function, you're likely to suffer with uh, respiratory disorders, basically. And they found that it even affects people with diabetes as well as it affects cognitive development uh, and cognitive function. And they found that there's an increased risk of heart attacks. Uh, in fact, they found that uh, in the cities, just going shopping in the cities, you're breathing in a million particles per cubic centimeter of air for each hour that you are out. So a simple activity like shopping, um, you know, you think you're not taking the car, you're not uh, contributing to pollution, but in fact, you're breathing it. It's all around. And in fact, mm -hmm. they've even found that it affects the heart rate. It affects how the heart actually functions. It even affects the clotting mechanism in your blood. So it's putting you at increased risk of heart attacks. Now, if you're a normal, healthy person, that risk may be just a bit. But if you've already got heart and lung problems, then that risk is much, much more enhanced. So. Why am I mentioning this? Well, in our cell energy spray, we've got the most powerful body antioxidant, glutathione, plus alpha lipoic acid, the second next most powerful antioxidant. So that's going literally through your cheek mucosa, straight into the bloodstream, and it's helping to detoxify, and it's helping to reduce inflammation because the other thing that science has found is the way these particulates and nitrogen dioxide affect the body adversely, it's through inflammation. And what do we have? We have loads of testimonials of our D power, our cell energy, our super 10, which has these super berry antioxidants, all helping inflammation. In fact, we've even got testimonials of people with inflammatory disorders who've had their blood uh, inflammatory markers and cytokines actually tested as part of the monitoring of their disorders. And the doctors have found that these markers, the levels have actually gone, come down. In fact, they've been shocked at how much these levels have come down using the TEN sprays. And that's without medication. These people actually took themselves off the medication that wasn't working and uh, actually just kept with the TEN sprays. Now, I'm not advocating that you do exactly that. Obviously, check with your doctor whatever uh, disorder you have or whatever symptoms you have. Use the products wisely, but we've got the testimonials. So it's absolutely incredible what we've got in our hands and we must, must share because air pollution is a huge, huge problem. In fact, there are governments that are being taken to court because they got their policies wrong on pollution. And the UK, the British government, is one of them. They're actually being taken to court about their actions with uh, nitrogen dioxide. And they're having to review all the laws. They're even having to review the tests on cars. They're even having to review public transport. Um, so, you know, this is a big thing, air pollution. Imagine simple, natural, oral spray has actually helped people. And Denise, for example, is one of them. She had terrible asthma, and now she's so much better with the TEN sprays. So, 
you know, we've got health, we've got wealth. Deepak Chopra said, life is like a tree and its root is consciousness. Therefore, once we tend to the root, the tree as a whole will be healthy. It's just about being aware and conscious about the fantastic tea and oral sprays. And of course, our Trim by 10 helps to detoxify from the inside, literally from the gut through the fiber, through the nutrition in the Trim by 10. So Joseph Addison said, health and cheerfulness naturally beget each other. Once you've got health, it's so much easier to be cheerful. Once you've got wealth, it's even easier to be cheerful. So we've got health and wealth. Terry Gillamet said, for happy health, fuel yourself with dreams and greens. Dream where you want to be in life, and greens stick to the natural world. That's what we're doing with the TEN sprays. So Walt Disney said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Pursue, pursue, pursue. Back to you, Denise. Wow, Dr. Nita Poole, I have to say, lady, when you start talking about that air pollution and how it attacks your body and those that are dealing with respiratory conditions, I have to say you are right on the money with that. Um, you know, family, you all know I went through, went through the thing with my lungs. And, uh, you know, my last report from my doctor, which was a couple years ago, maybe, maybe not, maybe about a year or so ago, my lung capacity was only at 46%. Now, praise God, I'm able to breathe and do what I'm doing <clears throat> because of the vitamin sprays that I'm taking. But this weekend, I was outside more than I had been in a long time. You know, because usually I'm going from one building to the other. But this weekend, I was outside for cookouts, and my children and I, we went down to the Washington Monument to the wall. We walked around for quite a extensive time for the day, and I could feel the pollution building up in my lungs. I literally could feel it. And I could feel it because my chest began to tighten, and I began to have heart palpitations, which is something I hadn't had dealt with in a while. And I felt it at night when it was time to go to bed, but what I was exposed to during the day was trying to attack my body. So, family, let me tell you, any other time that would have triggered an asthma attack, I would have been in the hospital. But I started spraying that vitamin D. And I started spraying the cell energy and the super 10. And, I, and I'm telling you, I thank God for these vitamin sprays. I'm telling you, even though the attack try to come, it's something about those vitamin sprays that just cuts it off. You know, I may have to sit and rest for a while. I may go through the heart palpitation, but it doesn't go beyond that. It used to go into like a full-blown attack, like a full-blown asthma attack. And I would be in a hospital for about a week. But I praise God, I haven't, it hasn't gone there, and it won't go there. And I just want to say you were right on point with that report about the air pollution. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Wow. <laughs> I said, that, wow, she just got what I went through this weekend. <laughs> so, uh, it just shows you, you as well, Denise, you know, it must have affected, uh, you know, the reason why I got the, uh, the palpita palpitations is it was affecting mm -hmm. not only just the air pollution and therefore your lungs and the asthma, but it was also affecting your blood, your blood vessels, and your heart, mm -hmm. which contributed mm -hmm. to the palpitations. It just shows your story just qualifies it. Absolutely. Yeah, it most certainly did. It most certainly did. Wow. I'm just, I, I'm so, uh, oh, God, I'm just, I get so amazed by these vitamin sprays. I really do. When I think about Pastor Dale's testimony, when he was in the hospital and what the doctor said about, you know, his condition now that with a scion, you know, you know, helped to bring by in that time. I am just, whew, when it comes to these vitamin sprays, family, I'm telling you, it is nothing short of a blessing of God that we have these in our hands. They are incredible. My goodness. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Whew, let's try to end this call. That's just, just great news to hear. And to, you know, and to really be able to witness to that. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here listening to what she's saying. I'm going, wow, I know exactly what she's talking about. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure Keisha Milford can attest to that as well. I bet you she can. But anyway, family, it's been a great call. Coach Nikisha Bond, thank you so very much for bringing those wonderful tools of marketing, of coaching the warm market, the cold market. You know, um, I like it. Uh, and Nikisha said, like, Robert Higgins is always asking, please, family, get some videos. I, just get some, I think I'm going to make me a video today, too, on the vitamin spray and air pollution. 
I just say, I'm going to put some videotape. You know, folks need to see that. We have something in exchange for what you're going through. And this is what you can take. Don't forget to join Maria. Maria's going to have the Spanish call that's going to start this morning at 9, 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, Maria had a wonderful testimony last week on how she was going with stress and how the vitamins brace help her with stress. So uh, get on the Spanish call. If you got Spanish-speaking guests, get them on the call at 9 o'clock at uh, 9, 10 a.m. this one Pacific, along with Maria and the Spanish team. Uh, don't forget to go to the corporate Facebook page, Team Effort Network, like that page, and check out the new videos that's been posted over the weekend. There's more and more and more new videos. Our new one-star, oh, God, I doubt, oh, I think we say Dermot is on there talking about being a one-star in 10 and, and uh, how he accomplished that level. So get the new videos, share them, like them, comment, and then share them. And um, great call. Pastor Dale, anything to say before we close out? No, great call. Thank you, guys. Great call, indeed. Now, what's left to do? Y'all know what to say. What do we say at this point? Get off this phone and get out there and tell somebody about the great things that you heard on the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. Be back with us again tomorrow morning. You can either move on, go on towards that. If you know your family, go on towards the full spring, the full speed ahead. Be back tomorrow morning. Know this. You are loved. You are greatly appreciated. God bless you all and have a prosperous day on purpose.